Hey there crew members, welcome to another deep dive into the USS Enterprise 1701 with me, Mr. Trek. Before we get into the content of the video, I'd just like to give a, a big shout out to Dan's Model Universe. Um, I was looking at Dan's content, he's a fellow YouTuber, model maker, Star Trek fan. I was looking at his content uh, a few days ago and I saw a really beautiful model of the bridge, the original Enterprise bridge that he made. Uh, beautifully lit and, and super well, well made. So I left a comment on his video saying, you know, great video, wonderful, awesome, inspiring. Uh, and he wrote back to me and invited me to do um, a podcast on, on his channel. So a few days ago we did a podcast and uh, I really enjoyed talking to him. Uh, it was an amazing experience and uh, just allowed me to get some of the stuff out that I have about the, uh, about the Enterprise and such. Um, so that, that video is now up on his channel. So I've left a link in the description to that podcast and also you can have a look at the rest of uh, Dan's work on his, on his channel. Remember, hit the subscribe button, ding the, uh, ding the bell, the, 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 the bell, whatever it is, notification bell, and um, give the video a like. Let's get into the content of this video, which is a model that I made last year, and um, although it is not the Enterprise, the, the interior Enterprise, it, it's a, it, it was a wonderful practice for me for this new mission that I have to construct the entire interior of the Enterprise. The model is made of foam core. It's all in white. Uh, my idea was when I made it was to make one of these kind of, you know, like these architect models that you see where you have landscapes and it's all, it's all just white with white figures. Very, very clear, very clean, uh, very functional model. So I'll show you that model now and then I'll talk you through it. We're going to go around it handheld. I'll talk you through it and show you, uh, and you'll see very, very instantly why it, it, it is very relevant to, to put into this video. Let's have a look at that model now. Welcome to the Bureau. As I said, this is a model that I made uh, last year made of foam core and card, as you might guess. And it's, uh, the, the Bureau is a project that I had going, and it's still going, it's just taking a little bit of a back seat uh, to the, the USS Enterprise at the moment. So it's, on, it's still an ongoing project, and it's, uh, it's an idea that I had for a time machine with uh, time agents and the adventures revolving around what goes on with this time machine. You can instantly see the, uh, the influence of the original Enterprise, the 1701 here. And this is intentional. It was intentional in the design. So uh, we've just come in through basically the front door which is a time portal, in essence. And uh, I've just taken you right into the, the central control room. Uh, I'll say now that, the, that there is a, a heavy influence also from uh, the very famous interior of the TARDIS, the Doctor Who TARDIS. Um, so it's kind of a mix, really. But there you can, you can very, very clearly see the bridge of the Enterprise in this, even to the steps down from the entrance here and the main view screen right there okay so the wonderful thing about this model is it is also in 125th scale so it gives me a, a really good feeling for how big the bridge is going to be and and in my last video where i showed you the the portion of the corridor on deck 18 uh, that also the purpose of that was also just to get an idea of how big this this thing is going to be when I actually build the 1701, the Enterprise. So um, it's going to be a really nice big 125th scale bridge model there. 
also in this that is very valuable so you can see here that there's another level on this here which it, in the in the bureau in this time machine uh, you access this via a, a spiral staircase which we can see through those windows there I'll show you that in better detail in a minute in the full tour but you can you would go around here and uh, there's the baby grand piano because also in the bureau there's one of the time agents plays the piano and uh, she has her special room where she plays the piano so there, there's the spiral staircase going up to this next level which is known as the library level and here's all the books thousands of books in this library level there's one of the time agents looking over the rail uh, the handrail again which is very very 1701 bridge this handrail going all the way over so he's looking down into the uh, control room there and we'll continue the sweep around the library level um, this was a great exercise in model making as well actually because here you can see a model that I've made from FEMO of a Chesterfield sofa so the idea here is that it's a very cosy place to be this um, this time bureau Chesterfield sofa there will be two Chesterfield chairs as well opposite that and on the wall you can see the uh, this uh, strange clock and even though this is in it's all in uh, white the the decor in here will be very very much like a uh, wooden uh, like Sherlock Holmes old style wooden panels and that kind of thing and this uh, strange clock here which even though this is 1 25th scale um, I did actually build this full size so there's me stood next to the full size version that I built built in an old studio uh, in 2015 quite a while ago now so this this was actually my full size model and then we come back to the 125th scale version here so I just love the idea that you know you get these uh, models like this and it's it's actually very easy to to start building them full size as we come around there's another time agent I'm sure she was in the 1701 corridor yesterday she gets around <laughs> okay so here's a table table and a small chair so very traditional and a lamp with a lampshade and uh, if you haven't already guessed it the lampshade is actually the screw top on a tooth from a toothpaste tube which really uh, gives itself to to that uh, lamp Okay, so we're coming further around, and I'm going to remove this floor here to reveal the entranceway to the control room. And if we come down here, like I say, this is this is so influenced by by the interior of the USS Enterprise. And like I say, I'm so glad that I made this model because it's all, all of it is almost just like a practice run. For this uh, new incredible mission that I've got now, and you can see there that I mean, wow, that's 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 one of the curved corridors right there, deck five, deck six, deck seven, deck eight, whatever, and it's even got those overhead uh, bars here that that we see on the original Enterprise. Also, what is wonderful is when I built this Enterprise. It's possibly going to be stacked, so it's going to be laid out. E each deck is going to be laid out and constructed on a flat surface, but uh, it will be stacked. And one of the questions, one of the big questions, is uh, what are the dimensions of the of the interior of the original Enterprise? As in, how high are the walls? What what is the deck space between one deck and another deck? And uh, how wide were the corridors so this is really nice because using these thick pieces of foam core uh, you can see here 
it, it also gives a nice feeling of what kind of deck space what spacing will there be between such as this if this was deck 5 and then down here down onto deck 6 so that gives a really good feeling of of um, of, of the of the space between between the decks so I'm very happy about that it's really nice let's just pull back here and go back to the entrance let's just see if I can give you a really nice effect of this door opening here the entrance to the time bureau there press your door so this here is the is where the time agents will enter through this door from the main part of the bureau just put the model back together and then they will enter and um, there you go so now they're in the time control room and these uh, circular elements around the outside are to do with uh, alignment cellular alignment for whatever time period the agents are arriving in so that they can then exit down this kind of tunnel exit way here and uh, yes there is also an influence from the uh, from the old TV series the time tunnel here so it's got a few influence sci-fi influences from the classic shows let's just walk around just got a nice uh, strategically placed torch there just to give, give a, a little bit of light and then coming down behind here to the, uh, the grand piano room little model there that I made of a baby grand piano and the stool and then there's the spiral staircase so this is the I mean these are beautiful rooms you know so it's a really nice place to be um, very stylish uh, traveling up the spiral staircase as I mentioned earlier looking through the windows and then arriving at the top of the stairway into the library level so that's a, a tour around this model and I just wanted to show you that um, to just display how how the USS Enterprise model is going to start to look of course when I make the Enterprise model it's going to be in full colour like, uh, like the corridor that, that I showed in the previous video it's going to be full colour um, not, just, not just black and white like this and like I said in the previous video I'm going to stay very very close to the, the original uh, Franz Joseph deck plans for the interior of the build that I'm doing but I am going to take some creative license with that um, which I'll, I'll mention at a later date but you know if the if the Enterprise was actually a real ship on a, on a five year mission out into deep dark space I'm almost certain with you know if you could actually construct a ship like that there, there would be areas like this in recreation you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't just be one flat level with a low ceiling. Uh, there, there, there would be, you know, the, the recreation areas would drop down into other decks. So when you walk into the recreation area, uh, you have a nice, open, spacious feel. And I think, you know, from a, a mental health point of view, I think that would be absolutely essential on a ship going out into the darkness uh, for five years like that um, you know it wouldn't just be a few uh, rowing machines with, with low ceilings they, they, there would need to be a, a feeling of space of openness and spaciousness on this ship so I'm going to take some liberties definitely with that like uh, you know I don't know this this might be part of the recreation area on deck 8 which uh, drops down into deck 9 
so there's just going to be a little bit of uh, shuffling around of certain elements from the Franz Joseph plans. But apart from that, you know, everything else is going to be bang on. Okay. So I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the tour around. And as always, uh, I, I really value your feedback, and I, I'm I'm really happy about the uh, about the comments that have come in, in previous videos, uh, either you know offering advice or you know giving encouragement, and I really really value that. So please do leave a comment in the video section. And as always, please support this channel. Hit the subscribe button gently, and uh, the notification bell. Give the video a like, and um, as always, I hope this video finds you well, and I'll see you very, very soon in the next video. Okay, bye for now.